Hello and welcome to another video in the Let's Chat series. This video is in response to the question which I get asked far and above any other question. What organ are you using? Well, let's chat about the organ. Let me also take you behind the scenes. Let me show you around the room a little bit. And also let me, let me explain the difficulties I'm having with my computer. It can barely keep up. It's a struggle. Let me explain why. Okay, so without further ado, here we go. So here she is. Here is the organ that you have heard so many times. On the left, we have the pedal and swell stops. And over on the right, we have the great and choir. Now this is a Viscount instrument and specifically an Oratorio 3. I don't use any of the inbuilt sounds from the Viscount organ itself. When I was looking for an organ, I knew that I wanted to use uh, Hauptwerk software, there was no question. And one of the first things I did was disconnect all of the inbuilt speakers in here. I didn't want to use its own sounds. I wanted to use the sounds in Hauptwerk. I wanted to, I wanted to use Rotterdam and various other organs. One drawback I have of having physical stops like this, and only three manuals, only three is enough, right? But it has its limitations. The organ which you see up here, that is the, 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 the very console which powers, which controls the organ. Now, as you can see, that one has four manuals and a huge array of stops. So many stops, in fact, that the stops I have here aren't enough to replicate that one. What it has meant is I've had to choose a whole load of stops on the original organ and not use them. So there's a whole load of stops and sounds which just are not loaded at all because I haven't got space. So a lot of um, people have been asking what on earth this is here. Well, I'll show you what it is. To give it its correct title, this is a Novation launch pad. You can program any button, any function within Hauptwerk to run from any button on here. These are all essentially generals and sequencer settings. Plus and minus here, if you start at uh, one, you know, it just advances through them. Here I have swell octaves, so swell octaves, sub octave, choir octaves, great octaves, <laughs> great octaves, that's great. That's a trick actually, what I can do with the great, particularly the great sub octave, is rather than using the um, double trumpet 16 and double diapason 16, full organ, put those in, use the great sub octave instead, and it pulls everything down. Related to this is this black toe piston here, which some of you may have seen me vigorously hitting with my uh, right foot. That advances the sequencer by one, 
which is the same as this button here. So I think this is what you're most excited about. Let's go behind the scenes a little bit in here. So if we follow the organ over to the left, we have one of the speakers here. By the way, we have, I'm running Adam F7 speakers, one over there and one over here in the corner, past the um, rather sorry looking wine rack, which I desperately need to refill, over into the brains of the organ. It's hard to believe really that this tiny laptop and this, these two audio interfaces here, both focus rights, are powering this incredible organ in Rotterdam. It's hard to believe. This laptop is six years old. It's only got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Hauptwerk recommends 64. Um, and the organ of Rotterdam, if you want to use it to its absolute fullest potential, recommends a lot more than that. So I need to get a new one of those. Just they're a lot of money. Underneath it, is the first audio interface. So the organ is directly connected to this audio interface via the MIDI. Um, this is connected to the laptop via USB. And all the speakers in the room, all four speakers in the room, come through here as well. The second interface here is specifically used for live streaming and only live streaming. It's how that works. It starts over here, into here, out of there, into Hauptwerk. Hauptwerk makes it sound fantastic. Out of Hauptwerk, back into here as audio. Out of here, into here. Out of here, into laptop number two, onto YouTube. Did you get that? This is my own cathedral. I apologize for the carpet. I need to replace the carpet. This organ has been recorded using, as far as I know it, at least four microphones. The first pair of microphones were recorded closely to the organ. So you get that immediate sound that sound comes through right and left front. I also have two rear speakers, one over in this corner and one over in the other corner, there. The rear speakers were recorded at some distance from the pipes. They were recorded quite far back and the effect in this room is so marvelous, so, so marvelous, that you have the, the front speakers sounding right around the organ. So you feel the presence, the, the immediacy of the pipe work. But then from behind you, you have this sound thrown into the back of your head of the building and of the acoustic. You also get, you get the acoustic from the front here but you get the, the distant sound from the rear. As, as a player sat right here, you want to feel like you're right in the middle of it. When I play a chord, the wonderful thing about it is I'm not able to determine really where the sound's coming from. It just sounds like it's all around. It feels like, it feels like I'm in there. Let me just talk about something I mentioned earlier on, about the problems that the computer is having. It is old, 
and it, it does do very well for its age. But it's got to a stage now where I'm asking more of it than it's capable of giving. This organ and the Hauptwerk software is very computer intensive. It requires a huge amount of RAM. CPU usage goes through the roof. That hasn't got the, um, the power to, to control this. It's such a shame. And there, there are times when I'm doing a live broadcast, a live recital, a live concert, and I just don't know whether it will, will get through. And there have been times on um, streams when the organ has failed. jump, sorry about that. Um, so the last thing to have gone wrong is the organ has gone off um, and it's done this before. Unfortunately, not going to be able to carry on. So I basically want to get a new computer, but the sort of computer that we need to get for Hauptwerk and for the organ is an expensive one. So I'm saving up like mad. Um, but I've got other things to pay for around the house. Music concerts in the real world have stopped, so I'm not getting any income from that. And at this point, I should like to say thank you so much for all of your donations over the past few weeks. Each and every one of you who has donated, that money has gone into a pot. It hasn't been touched. It's, it's, it's going towards new computer. And I can't wait to buy it. I can't wait to be able to, to run this organ to its fullest, fullest potential and load those stops, which I mentioned earlier I couldn't load. Part of the reason um, I don't load them is to reduce some of the strain on the laptop. I want to be able to load them all and have it in the highest quality of audio. Another thing, I've had to reduce the quality of the audio. Like, it kills me to do that. Reduce the quality of the audio, again, so it's less intensive on the computer. So many things I've had to do to, to allow it to work as it does. I've got a pedal here which I don't use. Um, this one here is the swell pedal, but I use a lot. And the one on the right is is a again another unused pedal. It's the um, crescendo pedal. Down here, I've got all the couplers. And then on this side, the um, the six generals on the organ, which are also here. On each division, there are six. Um, divisionals, so these control the swell, these control the grate and the pedal as well, so the pedal and the grate are combined, you see, and then down here I have the choir divisionals. Also have couplers, swell to choir, choir and swell to grate, and then pedal couplers there. Some of my favourite stops on the organ are this enchamard trumpet, which on the Rotterdam organ are those ones there, enchamard. They're, they're playable from the choir division here. The choir division, I think, actually is really beautiful. All of the choir division, all of these stops are in here. Have these beautiful flutes on the choir. And 
and they go up to two foot. Have a two and two thirds with that as well. And then a one and one fifth. We then move over to the diapasons. So I think my all time favorite stop on the whole organ is the choir eight foot diapason. That goes to four, two, with the mixture. We have two mixtures as well, another sharp over here. We have a, trum a trumpet, which is not the enchamade. So in comparison to the big, the big reed, the choir clarinet, we have the great, um, again, the quite the great has its eight and four flutes, the diapason chorus, which goes down to 16. Three mixtures on the grate as well, two reeds and a cornet. Over on the swell, there's these wonderful strings. A flute eight foot. Another flute eight foot. They're just slightly different together. To the first one. With the four foot, two foot, and then moving over to the diapasons, we have an uh, eight and four diapason. Really, really clear sound. I also have a 16 foot there, which the light doesn't work. That's actually really useful um, if you want a quiet 16 on the pedal. You can use that with the box shut, and it's quieter than these, the, the, the pedal's own 16 foot. And you could accompany it on the, um, on the, on the choir or On the swell, we also have, we have the mutations similar to the ones on the choir. We have a Vox Humana with the tremulant. <laughs> and then a 16, eight and four reed. On the pedal, there's quite a few stops which I haven't been able to load, unfortunately, um, A, due to space, and B, due to the issues that on the computer that I've um, already explained. We have a 32, uh, 16 Borden, uh, 16 Diapason, 8 Flute, 8 Diapason, 4 Diapason, fairly standard, really, a Quint, which um, has the effect of a a 32 
basically plays um, a fifth higher than the actual pitch, but many octaves down. The mixture, which is really bright, the, that mixture um, is a good complement to the great mixtures. The quiet, um, it's a fagot, 16, and then bassoon, 16, going down all the way to 32, um, and eight as well. A little, um, a little bit of inside information for you. I've increased the volume of the 32 foot reed. Oh, so it sounds even more epic than it does possibly in real life, but mm, I think a real 32 foot reed is um, pretty unbeatable, to be honest. So there we have it. It's a little bit of a unscripted um, tour of the organ of the room, of the computer. I hope it's been insightful, I hope it's been enjoyable. I hope you've listened this far, I hope you haven't switched off. And I hope now when I'm playing my recordings and my um, broadcasts, you can actually imagine what's going on. Imagine the room set up and imagine the sound in here and imagine what's going through my head at the time, thinking, is the computer going to make it? Is it going to break? Fingers crossed. So thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye.